Hello everyone and welcome, it is me here, Jam Sankith, back here on F1 Championship Edition for race 4 of the season. Still haven't scored a point, and here it is in San Marino, 7 laps, we qualified 22nd. Not a good qualifying session, and even Rosberg was around us, you know, behind us, and he still qualified 10th. But Barry Keller in pole on pole, Schumacher second, Fisichella, the winner of the first three races, is there in 7th. Can we get a better race here, avoid the corner cutting mayhem, stay off the curb so we don't spin? But here we go, we're going to go green, and we're underway here in San Marino, and we're already sort of like alongside E-Day, but... Okay, this is... Right, I'm going to I'm gonna come right to the inside here, this might be stupid, but... Can we get around a team as teammate, and, well, probably beat him hopefully Can, I, I'm gonna risk it here I'm gonna risk it's only lap one oh we made contact with the with Montero guys going wide there's Villeneuve ahead of us but not for much longer Rosberg's dropped Ma oh, no it's Weber sorry it looked like Rosberg thank god it wasn't Rosberg he's my favourite driver to be honest now since Schumacher's not racing of course I am a Nico Rosberg fan and here we are, up, at, up into 16th on his opening lap from 22nd. It's not too bad. I'm just happy to finish here as long as I can get some, you know, some points later on in the season. I'm not looking to even get points in this race, although I am okay here. If I can get some points even here, I'm happy, but I don't see that's going to happen. We're going to need to gain another eight more places to even be in a possible well in, within a shout of scoring any point so but if you're late on the brakes and other cars have problems there we go we go past Weber we're up into 15 seven places before we can get points so yeah hopefully well hopefully with a with a couple of cars retiring we might be lucky but I need to finish 20 or four above you know it's not it's not a problem. I'm doing what the team asks of me. All I need to do is just finish this season, hopefully. Finish well. Maybe score a couple of points throughout the season. And get a better team next season. And there's a car out and it's Weber. I, I have to be a bit slower through there. Because I don't want to get on the curb and spin it. But through here, in qualifying, oh, we're running wide. But I was on the power earlier than most other cars, but still qualified 22nd. Didn't make much of a difference in qualifying, but but we got where is it next? Is it Spain or Europe? If it's Europe, I'm going to be doing really well there for the at the Nurburgring. Yeah, green tyres. We got two laps before we need to well before we run out of fuel but we will be pitting by then start of the third lap we're good out of that final chicane there we go passing David Coulthard for 13th for 13th hang on didn't we take 15th ok so with the pace we got with the pit stops we might have Oh, so we're pitting this lap. Okay, that's fine. No, I'm going to go out and stay out an extra lap. But look at that. We're up into 12th. We're making some positions. Brilliant. We're not just fighting the other cars off. Oh, we got a Sal BMW Sauber right there behind us. Alongside us at one point. But here we are on the climb up to the chicane. Now, I got in qualifying, I got bumped out here by Rosberg because I went a little too slow being a bit cautious through there but we're quick out of there we're quick out of the final chicane and we're actually not holding anyone up We've, we're holding his own pace but we're right around where we no normally would be finishing but are we going to have a different winner this than Fisichella in this race I'm going to stay out pit next lap 121. Why couldn't I do that in qualifying? I 
Right, so it's absolutely critical that I pick this time, alright? That's fine. I will do. And we're up into 8th position. Can we stay there? Who did he say was third? Did he say Vettel? Right, I'm cleared to stop on this lap. Right, we're in 8th position. I'm not sure we're going to score points. His best chance to score points was at Bahrain, wasn't it? Yeah, we're not going to score many points if that keeps going like that. That's why I was went quiet in like not shock, but thank you, Weber, uh, Coltard, Mr. David, DC, of course, BBC F1 commentator. But we're quick through these chicanes, and we're quick. Yeah, and we're we're basically out of fuel now. I'm just wondering, have we got enough fuel now in this Midland F1 racing car to make it to the pit lane? Please have it. Please, 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 please. Yes, we're going to make it. I'm going to go storming into here. Great, we're not going to resume our position at the in 8th. But, yeah. Oh, we're holding Michael in the pits. No, I didn't want to do that. But here we are. Oh, I thought it looked to the buttons, you know, the ones on wheels, oh no. Oh, great. We have an audience teammate up there. Go, go, go. Whoops. There's got to be a few cars that need to pit anyway, isn't there? But we didn't jump Coulthard, he jumped us and Villeneuve's ahead of us, but I, it's, I, yeah, I think Villeneuve will have stopped up in there. So yeah, it didn't work out the way we expected, it didn't work out brilliantly, but as we saw from the early, pay, early laps, we've got the pace and cars will need to pit, I think a few of them will. And that's good through there, I like that, That's we're starting to find a rhythm here. Why didn't I go for Toro or Rosso that one? But anyway, no, I'm not regretting this decision at Midland, I just would like a bit of a quicker car. But it's only going to be sweeter when we actually do win. Well, we won't win with Midland, of course, I'm not sure, but... Oh, it depends how we'll go at the Nürburgring. To be honest, that's how. If, if I've seen people be good, you know, at the Nurburgring, Alex Afro was pretty good at the Nurburgring. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can get a few positions, you know, at the Nurburgring. Maybe a shot at the points, but I think this will be the finishing positions. I think Barrichello is out in front in the Honda. Is he? I'm pretty sure he is. I'll have to make sure when commentators tell us, but we're not going to win this Grand Prix, that's for sure. Or we're not going to score any points unless a few eight cars drop out in these last two laps. But they had a spree of retirements in Melbourne, we did. And I'm sorry I keep looking back, I'm just checking, you know, where Leopsi is. Because I have had moments where the AI cars have steamed up the inside and tried to spin me out. That happened with Coulthard, didn't it, a few laps ago? Well, on his pit lap, but... That's the quickest step I've been through there, I think, yeah. We've dropped it. Oh, man! Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, come on! No! Come on, on the last lap of the race, technically. No, come on. Right. Retired, car damage. Barry Keller wins. Rubens Barry Keller wins for Honda. Fissi Keller, the championship leader, in 11th. Sadly, we don't score any points. But Schumacher in second. We, we're not the first car out of the race, though, are we? Yes, the Nürburgring's next, but we don't win a race. We've not scored a point, we're down to 16th. 
but thank you for watching this video and sticking with my shenanigans and I will see you in the Nürburgring.